Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and I am back for another no spend January week four planning video. So this week it's a little bit of hot and cold. What we need to do is we kind of just need to keep doing what we were do what we we're doing. That's going to be part A. So I know that in previous videos we have started making a list. I know I've shared that. I'm going to insert a picture in here so that you can see this in a good and steady, like, readable format. But I have continued to add to my list of things for my for my no-spend January because um, I keep thinking of things that I want to, uh, to eat, things that I want to do. So part A is to continue to work on those things. If you're doing a food, uh, no spend at January, you're trying to do all of your groceries, continue to work on this list. Get it very robust. Um, get a calendar out, maybe even start to like sketch some things in, some ideas. Then if you are doing a entertainment no spend at January, now is the time that I want you to start thinking about movies that you're interested in, which I know we've kind of done in a previous week, but I want you to get really serious about um, finding out how much those things are going to cost, how much if you're going to order movies like through your cable system, how much that is so that you can know what that's going to cost beforehand. The other thing with a no spend um, entertainment month that I want you to think about is what do you have at your house that you're not using? I know personally here at our house we have um, a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo that is in a box. I haven't opened it in a long time. Like long enough that if a professional declutterer came they would want to donate it. Um, also underneath of where my the table that has my VCR and um, Xbox is it's, it's called a Zone 40 and it's one of those plugs directly into your TV and it has all the games pre-done in it. I don't know that that has ever been opened since I've been in my house and I've been here five years now. So what I want you to do is I want you to find those things things that you already have so you're not buying any things but things that are going to have some novelty because you haven't had them out in a long time if you're you, you know if your kids are there you know bust out the 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 gamecube or your genesis system and bring out all of those old games because um like I said, the novelty is the right word for that it hasn't been around in a long time they're going to be familiar with it enough to pick it up like that so there won't be a ton of learning curve and it will still be fun. So look for a couple things like that. If you, uh, and and then this next part that I'm going to show you, this section B <laughs> of, of things that to, to do that I want, uh, things that I want you to do this week, it applies to both grocery folks and to entertainment folks. In, in the same way. Um, and you know, if you're a person that is a singleton um, or a person that is an empty nester, now is going to be the time to start looking for those craft projects that you've kind of been putting off and wanting to do in the evening. So it's like start to, to find the parts of those and get those together. Uh, and that is kind of the, the crux of part B of this week. Part B, it's not buying diapers. What I did is I cut the flappies off of this and I am putting in, gosh, I just can't get this camera right. Bear with me. Okay, so I am putting in things that I am saving for no spend of January. Obviously I went through, I've got some, I've got three of these Jiffy Corn Muffin, muffin Mixes because like I said, I really like them. They're perfect like one meal packs for my family. And then I have three of these Italian dressing packets, which is going to be almost all of them that I need for the month. But the purpose here in having this container, which obviously is not fancy, I don't have to go out and buy a container, don't buy anything for this. Um, I just got a box that I had and cut the flaps off and made it usable. I have essentially a location, a spot, a receptacle. So what I want you to do is 
the Xbox stuff or your N64 or your GameCube or your Zone 40 or whatever it is that you have. Um, I have a TurboGrafx-16 too, like talk about way throwback, but, but get them all in one location so that that stuff can start to, um, to be centralized so that when it's time to grab that, it's all in a place so that when you come across it, especially as you're starting to clean out things and you get your holiday stuff out and you go, oh, why was that stuck in there? For entertainment things or for craft project things, those can go in that container and you can find it. And it's not something that you have to find in 16 different places. So here is part C. So we got A is continue to work your list, continue to write down things that you need, continue to think about what you want to do. B is make a place for all of the things that you were going to be using, looking in your house for craft projects, game systems, movies, all those things that haven't been touched in a long time, things that are things that are old that can be new again, that'll have novelty because they haven't been done together. <sighs> like if you're going to do that Star Wars marathon month, get that in the box so that that's in a special spot. And the, you don't you don't use it before because you don't want to use it during the holidays and be like, oh, we did that last month. So here's the other thing. This is an envelope. As you can see, I just got it from my bank. It's one of those, you know, you get money out. It's been used. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to put some dollars in here. If you can put $20 in here, that would be really great. Um, if not, I want you to put it in next week. I want you to plan for it in your, um, in your every dollar or in your paycheck, YNAB, Excel spreadsheet, whatever. I want you to get some money in here for a couple reasons. For all of the scenarios that I've mentioned, a food no spend January, an entertainment no spend January, or if you're going to be doing something like a crafting, whatever the reason, all of these apply. We all know Christmas, Christmas is, winter is coming, Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving is coming even faster, and with Thanksgiving comes the sales. What I need you to do is I need you to have something stuck back so that you can participate in some of those sales, but at the same time, further your goal for no spend January. So what that's going to look like is when for food folks, it, Thanksgiving week, we all know stuff goes on sale. Um, all the baking stuff goes on sale, flour, sugar, eggs oil, Crisco, chocolate chips, nuts, pie crust, pie filling, pumpkins, frozen pies, frozen dessert treats, um, turkeys go on sale, hams go on sale, gravy goes on sale, mashed potatoes goes on sale, macaroni. Anyway, you get the point with that. But what I want you to do is I want you to have like $20.00. And if you can save maybe $5 or $10 each week towards this, oh my gosh, it will change your life. So that you can go in and spend that money on just things that you are going to need for your no spend January food plan. You can wipe out so many things for, for like $15 because like your canned vegetables are gonna go on sale, you'll be able to buy all of your canned vegetable side dishes. And those are pantry shelfable, so you don't have to have a freezer for those. So that you can wipe all of that out in one foul swoop. Stuffing is like next to free, and it makes a great, you only need to have it like maybe twice of that, you know? But the point is, it's like 50 cents a thing. So save some of that. If you're doing the entertainment week, Please, please have $20, even $30, because you can go in on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you never have to leave your house if you don't like that sort of thing, but you can get movies, games, all kinds of entertainment stuff. And, and let's face it, we all know that for you crafters out there, Joann's and Michael's 
all have super special sales so that you can pick up things to do and keep busy in January. So that's your homework. Keep doing your lists, make a receptacle, save some money so that when it comes time for sales, you have spending power and you can buy things uber cheap so that you can get lots of things to do for January. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Please give me a, a thumbs up, click subscribe if you are enjoying these, and keep on saving.